in the past. There's the KNLE military base. So we have to defend it. And also we can attack uh, some of the uh, Burmese government posi position. Mm -hmm. But now we don't want to use more strength when to attack the Burmese military post. We're only trying to attack the troops while they're mobile from different uh, brigades. Altogether, there will be 4,000 or more than 4,000, that's all, because it's difficult to predict and, I mean, because the, the areas, as I mentioned, is very scattered. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I think that people from military can give you know, the exact number, okay. because, uh, as I mentioned in the past, some surrender to the SPDC. Mm -hmm. Some joined the TKBE. Uh, a few people uh, they left the KNU because they stay inside the camp and then they didn't have a chance to, I mean, coming back to the unit. In this hard time, I think that this small number is it's all right with the leadership to look after, and then with the color attractive, I think they're less expensive. I think more effective. Then you have a big army. Mm -hmm. If you have a big army, you know, you need more things to provide the army. It is in common when you talk to the KNU or KNLA leader, you know, they use this military uh, or, you know, fighting as only to defense mm -hmm. themselves and the villagers. That's all.